Hey, Ronnie. Hold hey, on a second. Hey, Ronnie. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, go ahead. Uh, quickly, um, do you want to take that? I got to take this. It's uh, from Adam. Okay. Um, Americans are checking their phones now more than ever. A report says it's next. I, I'm ready. Okay. So, yes, welcome to the show. This is Men Are So Smart. I'm Lou Gallagher. I'm Corvette Ron. If you're new to the show, please be sure to subscribe to our channel and click the bell for notifications each time a new show comes out. Americans are checking their phones now more than ever, says a report. Our phone addiction isn't getting any better. Across virtually all age groups, Americans look at their phones more often than ever before, an average of 52 times a day. Yeah. Uh, that's up from 47 times a day last year. <laughs> that's not that significant. So it's a habit, though, that many people are trying to cut, according to consulting firm survey. About 40% of people say they're using the phones too much. Additionally, 60% of the 18 to 34-year-olds admit they're hacked. They're hooked on their devices. Oh, yeah, they are. 63% of respondents said they're trying to limit their usage, but only around half actually succeed. <laughs> it might be easier to quit smoking. <laughs> it might be. The number of smartphones also <clears throat> continues to grow with 85% of Americans owning one, up 3% from 2017. The strongest growth is among U.S. consumers age 45 and up with saturation in that group rising 7%. Uh, this year's survey really advances the story of smartphones as the true center of our lives, both inside and outside the home. Uh, the vice chairman of U.S. Uh, telecommunications, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, and entertainment sector leader at Deloitte said in a statement, the smartphone remains the go-to device for consumers, enabling them to do anything they desire Communicate, work, socialize, consume entertainment, stay fit, or take care of things at home. You're up. Oh, Americans aren't the only ones who are attracted to their phones. According to an August report by telecommunications regulator Ofcom, 78% of adults in the UK own a smartphone, and Brits check their phones every 12 minutes. Oh, dang. Probably for the weather. It's so <laughs> crappy there. <laughs> While smartphone ownership has increased, tablets haven't been so lucky. They've had the biggest year-over-year -year decline in market saturation of any device yeah. category, dropping from 62% to 57% this year. Uh, this likely has been driven by the fact that many phones now have larger screens, not than your tablet, but larger than normal screens. Smartwatches, on the other hand, experience positive growth, according to the survey. They're now used by 14% of Americans, up 1% from last year. Daily usage for wearables has gone up for both owners of fitness bands, from 53% last year to 60 this year, and smartwatches from 62% last year to 67% this year. Yeah. And that's then, a lot of numbers. The, yes. Sorry. That is a lot of numbers. Sorry about the math. <laughs> and there will be a test at the end of this, so Pay I attention. hope you're listening. Uh, voice assistants are the next big thing. Yeah, this is along the lines of artificial intelligence well, we've been telling you about. Well, we've had Siri for years, mm -hmm. and now it's expanding. The growing adoption of voice control suggests it could be the next big thing in human-computer interaction after touch, according to the survey. About two-thirds of people have used their phone's voice assistant, an increase of 11% from just last year. I use mine all the time. I do too. Ownership of smart speakers has also gone up, nearly doubling from last year, going from 12 to 20%. 69% of smart speaker owners say they use their voice assistant capabilities weekly, and 47% say they use it daily. That would be me. And then the next big thing coming up for phones is the 5G network. I'm hearing all about it from Verizon. Oh, I can't wait. Mm -hmm. Consumers also have a growing interest in 5G, according to this survey. Uh, they're either fairly or very important to them compared to 55% last year. That interest increased across the board regardless of age. In fact, it rose from 22% last year to 31% this year among Americans 65 and up. Still, 5G had the highest perceived importance among people between the ages of 25 and 34, with 77% saying they believe it's either fairly or very important. Consumers are craving more speed and responsiveness as their usage patterns mature, says Managing Director of Deloitte Consulting's Technology, Media, and Telecommunications. Uh, it will be interesting to watch the availability of 5G networks and 5G-enabled smartphones 
over the next year to see if consumers yearning for better performance are satisfied. You know, I just cannot believe technology. And, and, and you know, there are so many people that I deal with on a regular basis almost every day that have just turned a blind eye to technology and they've just said, I've given up, I, yep. I can't keep up with it, blah, 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 blah. You know what my feeling is? Embrace it. You might as well. It's here to stay. It is. And you know what? Uh, you could say whatever you want about the internet and cell phones and photos and you know, millennials and that sort of thing, but you know, the internet and your phone can be used for really good things. Absolutely. Uh, if you choose to do so. Yep. If you choose otherwise, you can do that too. That's up to you. But um, you know what? When you welcome, uh, it can make your life easier. It can save you shortcuts. You can you can do anything. We talked about in another episode, Ronnie, about how when we were kids growing up, we, there was always a moment at a family gathering where someone would say, God dang it, I wish I would have brought my phone. Right. I mean, my camera. I'm sorry. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Right? Yes, yeah. Now, and no one had a camera. Everybody has a camera now. Everybody. Yep. So. Yeah, and they've also, I noticed at our Thanksgiving table, they solve a couple arguments. Because you, yeah. can, you can Wikipedia everything. Fact check. Yeah, mm -hmm. you can fact check everything. Mm -hmm. So it is. They're, they're wonderful if you use them correctly. And in fact, the new iOS update from Apple yeah. has a feature that tells you what your usage level oh, is. Oh, I've got that update. Yeah. yeah. I, I've hesitated to look at it. It's it's I'm actually afraid. is amazing and it's it's very relevant. And if you are one of those people that's trying to cut back, it's a great tool to kind of help you. Yeah. I know. Uh, I'm just afraid to know what that number is, Ronnie. Uh, you you will you'll surprise yourself. I'm sure I will. Yeah. All right. So that'll do it for this episode. We're glad that you watched and we appreciate it. If you enjoyed the show, give it a like. Yeah. And we'd also appreciate it if you've subscribed to our channel. When you do, please click the bell as well. That way you'll get updates each time a new show comes out. Yes. Check out our website. Uh, it's menaresosmart.com. There you'll find pictures, uh, stories, uh, survey. There's stuff to do when you go there, and we'd appreciate if you would check that out as well. Or our, some of our, bio, our uh, blogs are there as well. Oh, yeah. We haven't done that in a while, Ronnie. Yeah, God, I I've got to about that. five on my mind. Boy, I've got just... one in the can that I want to get out All right. so bad. Well, look for those coming up in the next few yeah. weeks. That'll do it. I'm Lou Gallagher. I'm Corvette Ronnie. And with the little battery we have left in the camera, I will say adieu. Bye-bye.